This is the first attempt using the Cuisinart 5-in-1 griddler that my uh, mother gave me for Christmas this year. And our first cooking experiment will be with a couple of a uh, couple of steaks here. These are just uh, pretty basic store uh, bought Angus beef fillets, uh, rump tips according to the package. It was probably on sale. So, anyways, they're uh, lightly seasoned with some of this grill mates steak rub and the griddler is in the grill panini uh, selector state and it's on sear waiting for the knob to turn green to indicate that we were ready to start cooking our auto indicator is turned uh, green we're ready to cook I threw the steaks on there and following the instructions, we're going to let the, the plate lightly rest on the steak and give it three to six minutes. So we'll, we'll be back and we'll see how this turns out. Alright, so the meat cooked just under four minutes. The suggestion was three to uh, five minutes for uh, meat that was three-quarter inch thick which this was approximately uh, that thickness and uh, looks pretty good we're gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then uh, we'll cut into it and see how it tastes and here's the finished product and I would say that um, we cooked it um, probably medium well we maybe could have taken it off the grill maybe another 30 seconds to maybe close to a minute earlier um, it, it, it's definitely juicy it tastes very good and uh, I'm definitely not a chef but to me this this tastes pretty good so I would definitely give it uh, two thumbs up we'll we'll try it again with some different uh, meats and recipes and, and see how it goes. So again that's the Cuisinart uh, Griddler and that was our uh, first use of it. This is the first attempt using the Cuisinart 5-in-1 Griddler that my uh, mother gave me for Christmas this year and our first cooking experiment will be with a couple